Deadly Anomalies, Dangerous Mutants, Anarchists and Bandits. Today, we're gonna try to survive the perilous zone of Stalker Anomaly Gamma Edition. I did not pick Duty and decided to play Loners, always been my favorite drama-free faction. We pick hardest difficulties, of course, because pain is part of the experience. I picked a .45 gun, a good all-rounder, some armor, basic food and medicine, and off we went. I decided to start in Rostock, as it's a central area of the map, and makes moving around much easier. There's also a lot of people I'll be able to get missions from. I quickly checked that hardcore AI aim was turned on, because regular pain is not enough. We want extra pain, and I ran straight to the arena to make some easy money. I hadn't played Stalker in a long time, so starting in the arena without any warm-up was probably a bad idea. But I murdered the first guy so fast, I got an instant boost in confidence. And these were the easiest thousand rebels I ever made. I went back to it immediately. This second guy proved to be a little bit tougher and made me run around, but I still got him without taking any damage. I got my money and decided to do one last one. Getting easy money is really addicting, but I realized that I had to fight two guys now. I'm whiffing this, and I don't have ammo, fuck. After some messy fighting and almost getting outplayed, I decided that it was enough for now. I equipped my starting gear and went to talk to everyone, picking up all the loot laying around. I then picked all the mission that looked easy. My plan was to go to Garbage to meet Butcher, as he's giving very good mission early game, so anything I could get in the area was my priority. On my way there, some other stalker generously did my first mission for me and I even got some extra loot out of it. We were off to a good start. I was looking at all the flickering in the trees and wondered if I should go tinker a little bit with my graphics, but I decided I was too lazy to do anything right now. I was welcomed in garbage by some radiation, so I drank a sip of water to cool things down and decided to start by picking up the stuff I could find lying around. I wanted to touch this anomaly because I was not too familiar with it, for science, and of course I took some damage. What's this sound? I then heard some weird noises, I was expecting to get jumped by something, but nothing happened. I got my first skill level, because I'm really good at running around apparently, and then I got my first missions from Butcher. There was some crazy stuff happening outside, and I was glad I had a roof over my head. While I was checking where to go, another group of stalkers did my mission again. The, the zone was being very generous today, so I decided to go murder these guys for Petrenko. There was only one poor guy here, and his juicy back was turned to me, so I decided to go stubby stubby and try my knife skills. Jesus. It was very effective. I got a shotgun in very bad condition from him. Eh, it might still be useful. I decided to go investigate all these gunshots I could hear. Turns out there was someone on the way I could try my new shotgun on. How did he survive this? What the fuck? What do you want? It didn't really go as expected, but I got a new shotgun in a little bit better condition out of it, so it's still progress, I guess. Turns out all these gunshots were just a rookie using some zombies as target practice. I looted his dead friend and decided to go back to Rostock. I had a lot of missions to give back. I outplayed a very angry boar on the way, then tried to loot it without becoming anomaly soup just like him. I gave back all my missions. Money, money, money! I was apparently getting very popular already among the duty boys, which is always nice. I went to finish my last mission. Yes. 
Anomalies proved really helpful again, but I had to be careful when looting. Let's not get fried like these poor doggies. I thought I still had a bolt in my hand, but I threw a grenade. I didn't even try to run away because I thought I was far away from the blast. I definitely was not. Our first and very dumb death. This time I removed the grenade from my inventory, we don't want any more explosive mishaps, and I finished the mission. I decided to leave my shotguns and all the loot I don't need right now in this box. We'll deal with it later. There was not a lot of new missions available, but at least one was in Yentar and I already had a package to deliver there, so it was time to visit the nerds. I'm gonna get destroyed if I try to go through wild territory, so... Yeah, le let's just get the shortcut through garbage. I found a gun on the way that made my guy very happy, but I had no ammo for it. The scope could be useful though, so it was a pretty nice find. Radiation was kicking my ass, so I had to get out of here. I had a cigarette to help with radiation, because if it was night right now, I would be glowing in the dark. And just like that, we were in Yentor. First, I delivered the package for my first mission here. One of the rewards was Nemir of Vodka, which reminded me that this guy has pretty good deals in exchange for vodka, and I always forget about him. After reading all his offers, I realized that if I have a hard time finding basic tools, I can get them very easily with him. That's good to know. I loaded the stash with the documents I had to find as quick as I can. There's no way I'm sticking around here longer than I need to. I paid a visit to Sakharov and asked him to build me the Psy Helmet, the good kind. It cost me almost all the money I had so far, but it's something I'm gonna have to pay for at some point anyway, so better do it right now. There was not much else for me to do here, so I looted around what I could find and then I left back for garbage. The weather was getting dark, but it was actually still pretty early on that first day, and I had some murdering to do. I bought some ammo, a hunter's kit to have more loot when I skin a mutant, and a better knife. I was officially poor now. We had to make back that money somehow. I was only half-life, my weapon in very bad condition could jam at any moment, and my target will be waiting for me right on the other side. Pretty much just another day in the zone. If this shitty weapon doesn't jam on me, we should be fine. I actually got rid of these guys pretty easily, and I was hoping to see the notification that my mission was complete. But no, actually my target moved far away in the meantime. This guy was hanging out real close to the military checkpoint, a very dangerous place. Well, I guess we can do some missions here. I mean, we're in cordon, so why not? I wasn't feeling like dealing with a pack of dogs right now, so I crossed the anomaly, hoping maybe to find an artifact, but my detector remained silent. It started raining, so I went to the farm. Nobody was here, but I found a maxim on the ground, which was perfect. I can read some quality content and organize my inventory in peace while the storm passes. I spent some time around the fire with my new friend Yonka, having some drinks and waiting for my health to recover. The rain was here to stay, so I kept going, killed the dirty little camper at the bridge and moved forward. I killed my first pseudo dogs, my first snork, and my first zombies. And all I got was a lousy pair of boots. I arrived into Rookie Village without any other issues and talked to everyone. I started the main questline by seeing Sidorovich, and I decided to do a couple missions while I was here. I was in my hometown after all, so the least I could do is help a little bit. 
I now had a couple companions with me to help with the next missions. We started by killing some bandits. As you can see, they were such bad shooters, it made me check if the hardcore AI M was on. Yeah, it's on. These guys are so bad. And just like that, I finished the mission I came for. I stashed some of my loot at the village, I started hip quest line, I looted a little bit the houses, and I listened to some sweet tunes. <sighs> I lit a fire inside to heal a little bit and I checked what I had to do. Kill some mutants, rescue some block, play in an <sighs> anomaly, and more mutants murdering. The usual stalker 9 to 5 job. I didn't want to use any of my ammo, so I let my boys take care of the mutants. It was only one sad doggy. Then we went straight to the hostage situation. I checked if I had a grenade with me, as all the bandits would probably be sitting around the fire, but unfortunately I had nothing, so a proper gunfight it would be. After almost dying, I rescued the stalker. They left him just like that under the rain. Such heartless bandits. Only one mission left before having to visit the anomaly. I cleaned a bit my inventory and noticed the rain stopped, which was nice. I think rains deteriorate a bit your weapons, but I'm not completely sure. Anyways, we only had to kill a couple zombies, so I let my guys do the work. All the ammo I could save was welcome. I gave back all the missions I did, happy to see I was getting good rewards and a lot of reputation. And now it was time to play in the anomaly. Fanatic gave me some vodka and a container, and now was time to pick up the artifact in the anomaly. I did this mission so many times, I didn't need to use bolt to find a safe way and navigate the anomaly. I knew not to pick up the bread like a rookie too. I took much more radiation than I expected though. The vodka that Fanatic gave me wasn't doing much, so I had to use one of my precious anti-rad medicine. It saved me, but I was in really bad shape, so I had some food, water, and spent some time next to a fire, just to rest. It's very slow to heal that way, but it's free. While Fanatic was showing me his new levitation magic trick, I decided to field strip some weapons. They were in too bad condition to be sold or repaired, because they didn't have barrels in good condition, so even disassembling them was useless. I didn't have a tool to do it anyway. My best bet was simply to field strip them and sell the parts for whatever money I could get from them. I was getting bored waiting to heal, so I went to pick up the loot I left before, stripped everything that I didn't need, and decided to get the Toz as my secondary weapon for now. It's a legendary rifle in the zone, and even in poor condition, I'm sure I could put it to good use. After healing almost completely, I decided to do one last mission for Fanatic and actually finish the task I had in Meadow for Sidorovich that I completely forgot about. Fanatic sent me to find a secret stash first, but it was really easy to find, and the reward was as disappointing as his stash hiding skills. The sun was getting low and you don't want to be out at night, so I had to be quick now. I quickly got rid of the zombies for my first mission. I was thinking that I never checked how much ammo I had left for my pistol, which could be an important information. After getting rid of them, I rushed to Meadow because the sun was getting low. I found a dragon eye on the way, and then I realized I was running in the wrong direction. When I arrived in Meadows, I was happy to see that he was fellow loners in the area. I will loot all these houses later, right now the mission was the priority. I knew this place can be very dangerous, and of course a poltergeist was hanging out not far from here. I looked around quietly for the body I was supposed to find, finally found it behind the hangar, and did not overstay my welcome. 
I decided to check the store on my way back, which was a good thing because it had some good goodies. And now it was time to loot the houses. There was very little, but I guess little is still better than nothing. On my way back, I heard some gunshots, so of course I went to investigate. There was no scraps for me to pick up, sadly. While I was giving back missions, I received a message for a lost package in garbage. We'll investigate this later. I got my money and sold some PDA information. And just like that, we were done with the first day, just as the night was setting. Perfect timing. I was not sleepy enough yet, so I had some drinks around the fire to put me in the mood, and then I went to bed. I woke up and looked at how beautiful and green the zone was. I just updated my game and spring was here. I stashed some of my loot, went to that TFC Dorovich to buy some overpriced ammo, I wish I could craft some but I didn't have what, what's needed right now, and I started the trip to see the dock to continue the questline. So I was heading to my least favorite place of the zone, the freaking swamps. I didn't have any drinks with me and I was getting pretty thirsty. You could see the negative effects of it pretty easily as just walking around was draining my stamina. I was hoping to find something in these houses, but I didn't find anything. My health was slowly but steadily dropping. There was no way I could cross the whole map and make it to the dock like that, so I decided to restock at the clear sky base. With some luck, I found some water at the old church on my way there, just enough to survive to my destination. I bought some water at the trader, the cheap kind of course, and rested at the campfire to heal a bit, wondering if I should do some mission for the guys around here. After a lot of thinking, because I really hate this place, I decided that if I was here, I could do a couple missions at least, as they would probably be on my way anyways. So I signed up for a couple simple jobs and went on my way. I could hear a lot of gunshots from the bandits I was supposed to kill at the pump station. If they were shooting mutants, that could be a good opportunity to take them by surprise. This is not gonna end well. But turns out everything went chaotic very quickly. The whole situation was a mess and I wasn't sure what to do. Come on, my box, give me a break. And of course, an emission hit in the middle of all that. I hightailed to a shelter and waited for the storm to pass. It got very foggy, so I decided to try again, getting close as much as I could before engaging. But I got spotted really quickly though, so I decided to rush it. Fuck it, let's try to rush these guys. I got clapped so hard I decided to change my plans. Maybe the professor in the church could give me a mission to escort some scientists? That would give me some free companions I could use to do my other missions. It didn't really go according to plan and I ended up with no companions and even more missions to do. I hate this place so much. I was getting a little bit desperate, not sure what to do, and I met a patrol of sneaky freedom boys. I decided to stick with them for a bit and see what happens. Mishenka Ventilator, Liova Telegraphist, and Vlad Shingachkuk? There's almost two racial slurs in that name. <laughs> if they were as good as their name, I was definitely in good company. I quickly realized that these guys were mostly cheating though and not doing much, so I went on my way. Alone in the zone once again. I arrived at the machine yard, it's generally a military hotspot so I was being very careful. But turns out nobody was here, so I just looted the place. I really need to find a weapon that stops jamming on me. 
I killed the mutants for my mission and got my first belt, which was exciting. I couldn't equip it yet, but it will be useful later. I arrived at the dock without any issues, looted the place, kept progressing the main quest and waited by the fire for my radiation to go away. And now was time to try to get rid of these bandits again. Let's go slowly. But even with sneaking, I couldn't get close without getting lit like a Christmas tree. So I decided to give up with these guys for now. Come here, bitch. I showed my ninja skills to a dumb flesh. Got rid of a couple boars, went back to the clear sky base to get my rewards and decided to get back to Cordon. I will come back for these missions when I have better gear. I'm not freaking in anomalies and fighting bandits half naked with a pea shooter. Speaking of bandits, I stumbled upon a group of them on my way back but decided I didn't want anything to do with them. Don't shoot me, don't shoot me, I wasn't here. See ya. Back in Cordon, I realized that I got a stash reward, but it was in the stash I was already using to store my stuff, so I had no idea what I got. An emission hit of course in the middle of me ordering my loot. I went to hide underground, and Hip went to flex her shiny detector in front of me. I wish I had one right now, because artifact hunting is the best just after an emission. Unfortunately, we only had a shitty detector, so it was really not worth to do anything right now. I was disassembling all the items I could to save on some weight, waiting for the emission to pass. That's when I realized that I had gunsmithing tools. That's probably the reward I got in the stash. That's nice. I sold some stuff to Sidorovich, knowing perfectly he was giving me awful prices, but I needed to get rid of some stuff to be lighter. And then I started going back to garbage. I drank some Hercules and equipped this armor that had a little bit more of carry weight to make the trip less painful. I was hoping for the checkpoint to be clear, but no, some pesky bandits were here. After a messy fight, the way was clear. I healed and moved on to garbage. Arriving in garbage, I got the reminder of the package that was hidden somewhere northwest, so that should be around here. I had a stash to pick up along the way too. I set up my frequency to 145 and started walking there. I left all my mutant meat in the stash next to Butcher, I'll use it to do some of the missions he gives very easily. I left all my mutant parts too, I'll use them to complete the tasks some random stalker can give and all the extra ones I have I'll sell them directly to Butcher because he gives the best prices. I then picked up his daily hunting mission. I wasn't expecting much from my first white stash in the game, but jackpot, turns out basic tools were waiting for me in there. The stalker gods were looking after me today. Now my goal was to finish my hunting missions as soon as I could and go back to Rostock to see what I could craft. Turns out I had a Psy Sucker to kill, and I read online recently that the best way to deal with them, like Bloodsuckers, was to chase them instead of being afraid, because they wouldn't become invisible again. It seemed to be working, but he was very hard to catch and his ghosts were draining all my Psy health. This fucker is way too slippery. I was very close to death, so I ran back to safety like a little girl to regroup. I decided to try to find the package while my Psy health was recovering. Generally these missions drive me crazy, but after killing two bandits I found it pretty easily. Can you just die? I don't have that much ammo. Oh, 
Oh, it's right here. <sighs> and the rewards were not bad. A lot of stuff to repair my gear and some extra loot. It was time for Scythecar round 2. It was nowhere to be seen, so I decided to clear the zombies. Turns out, I didn't have any more ammo for my guns, so it's kind of a good thing that the Scythecar wasn't here. And I had to run away like a little girl again. I went back straight to Butcher, stocked on ammo, some stuff to repair my knife before it gets to damage, and went back. I really wanted to be done with this before the night comes. Jesus Christ, get fucked. This fucker almost got me, but mission was done. The Hydroshock ammo I just bought definitely saved me. And it reminded me, I picked that gun at the very beginning just for this, so I should have got that ammo like much sooner. It's so effective against mutants, it's crazy. Anyways, I went back to Butcher again, got my reward, picked up all my loot and headed back to Rostock. I arrived back to safety just as the sun was setting. Perfect timing. I dropped my loot in my stash and went to give back all my missions. I still wasn't tired enough to sleep, so I picked up a couple of easy missions in the meantime. I got two packages to deliver in Agroprom, which was perfect. There was two stashes I could pick up there at the same time, in particular the green one that would guarantee me a set of tools. To finish my second day in the zone, I disassembled some ammo I knew I wouldn't need and used it to craft some bullets for my gun. There is no better feeling in Gamma than crafting your own ammo and having stuff for free. I also decided to get rid of my trusty shotgun as it became too damaged to repair cheaply and too unreliable to use. And I went to bed. I woke up with my limbs healed, which was perfect, I just needed to find a campfire to heal fully. I looked for one that was already lit, because I'm cheap and I didn't want to use my own matches, and I looked at the missions available while I was healing, but nothing was really talking to me, so the plan stayed the same. We were going to Agroprom. I took all my medicine, all my food, all my ammo, basically like everything that could be useful, and I left for Agroprom. I heard the screams of a lurker on my way to Agroprom, and of course he was coming straight for me. But my dodging skills were still on point. I decided to quickly do Butcher's daily hunting mission. This very nice anomaly actually did all the work for me and I found two artifacts on the way on top of it. We were making easy money. I heard some gunshots and my curiosity of course got the best out of me. I changed my ammo type as I was expecting to maybe fight stalkers and hydroshock rounds would be wasted on them. Turns out it was just freedomers killing mutants, and they were pretty protective of their kills, so I headed back to my first objective, Agroprom. My goal was pretty easy, deliver my packages, get the two stashes, maybe loot a little bit around, but nothing else, no funny business. I gave my two packages without any issues, picked up the two stashes, and avoided fighting as much as I could. The stashes were not bad, honestly, and I got a medical crafting set out of it. Radiation in the area was a nightmare though, so I stopped by the fire and had some vodka to heal a bit. The area was full of loot lying around, so I decided to take some time to pick up everything I could before going back. I then slowly went back to garbage, not too sure what to do next. I realized I never looted around the hangar, so I did that and found quite a good amount of useful stuff. There was a green stash in Dark Valley, maybe I could try to grab that. I certainly didn't have the gear to fight all the bandits in the buildings right next to it, but I could try to sneak in there. I left some of my heavy loot at the market, we might have to do some running to do and extra stamina could save our life, you never know. There was a lot of boars on the way, and I wasn't planning on fighting them, so I made a run for it. 
dropping all my heavy loot was already paying off. I kind of freaked out when I saw snorks waiting for me at the entrance of Dark Valley. But they went down pretty easily. Again, this sweet Hydroshock ammo is really OP against mutants. I wasn't planning on fighting, but if it had to happen, it would probably be against bandits now, so I switched to the full metal jacket ammo. Time to get the stash. Of course, I got spotted almost immediately, even though I was hugging the edge of the map. I wasn't sure exactly where was the stash, and of course there was radiation everywhere. But a new set of tools that I could give to the technician, and the gun that Hip was looking for, this operation was 100% worth it. The fuck's happening around here? Don't ask me how I survived this chaos, <laughs> I was out of there. Back to the relative safety of garbage, I healed and ordered a bit all my loot. I decided to leave again everything I didn't need. We were going back to Cordon to visit Hip. If I could get her as a companion that early, that would be a game changer. I had to get rid of a couple bandits on my way, but overall the trip was pretty easy. I went to see Hip full of hope, but her new task was finding 40 snork fingers? Jesus Christ. It was a bit of a cold shower. I'm not getting hip as a companion anytime soon. I picked up the stash next to the village and honestly it wasn't that bad. I then decided to do a couple of easy missions while I was here. At least I could say I didn't do the trip only to sim for hip. I killed a very dumb military guy. Then a silly bandit that never saw anything coming. I then made sure that my temporary companions were not carrying something in their inventories I could grab for myself. And then I gave back all my missions. This was a messy but pretty successful operation. We had a good amount of loot and a good chunk of money now. Time to go back to Rostock and see if we could craft something new. I knew I had to pick up all the stuff I left in garbage and I was already pretty heavy, so I stopped by to sell all my damage parts to Xenotech. I bought my first multi-tool too. I generally only use my multi-tool to disassemble weapons that are worth it, but you can try to disassemble any weapon that has this upgraded arrow too, because it has a chance to give you an upgrade kit. We didn't get anything here though. I had to clean some bandits again. Fuck it, let's do this. Knife kills are risky, but when you're low on ammo, you have nothing to lose, I guess. I clean a bit my inventory and realized I didn't have any ammo left for my gun. We'll have to use this broken shotgun now if anything comes up. And well, it didn't take long. Come on, give me a break. I guess not panicking and remaining calm when you have no stamina to jump and a broken gun can do wonders. <laughs> I don't know how I'm surviving this. I'm like the sidestepping master. I deserve that one. Get fucked, you stupid snore. <sighs> Give me your hands for hip. 
I've definitely seen better days. I was in a pretty bad shape, but I'm not giving up. We'll make it. It's gonna cost us a lot of medicine, though. I dropped all my mutants, meats and parts at my butcher stash and bought some ammo and extra sharpening stones. I had plenty already in Rostock, but now with a multi-tool and knife to repair, you'll never have enough of these things. While checking what time it was, I saw I had a green stash close by. Gunsmithing tools and some extra stuff. Eh, not great, not terrible. The armor was useless, but the gun was actually not in a terrible condition. I doubt I'll use it, but eh, you never know, we'll keep it for now. There was way too much stuff in my garbage stash for me to carry everything, so I had to do two trips to bring back everything to Rostock. I had an extra basic tool set now, so I gave one to the technician. That will update his inventory and he will sell me better stuff soon. I picked up all my gun parts under 60% quality as I wouldn't be able to repair them anyway and sold them for extra cash. I did some disassembling of all my junk items and crafted a workbench. I then moved all relevant crafting parts inside it to make things easier. I had two armors I kept to potentially repair, one needed a small repair kit, the other one a medium one. I had enough to craft a small one, so we could repair the first armor actually. I used the repair kit to replace some parts of the armor to improve its overall condition, and then I was able to fully repair it with the repair kits I had on hand. And just like that we had a brand new armor, a big upgrade from the previous one. I checked if I could craft some repair kits for my weapons, but no, not enough components. I checked the technician and he wasn't selling any yet, so maybe in two days when his inventory will refresh. Technically, I could buy from him the components I was missing to craft a kit, but I wanted to go back to missions and pick up more potential guns to repair, so we'll see later. I repaired my gun, picked up my medicine, my food, my ammo, parts and meat I could drop at Butcher. It was late afternoon, but I still had some time to do mission before the night. So I picked up stuff not too far in garbage and cordon to do. And just before the end of our third day, I went back on the road. I could do two missions at the same time. Kill a bandit and do not kill the infiltrated stalker in the group to exfiltrate him. I played it slow, I knew the spy had a SVD, so I had to wait for them to shoot at me to identify who was who. And just like that, our first missions were done. I was running dangerously low on ammo though. I went to Butcher, got a hunting mission from him again. They are so easy money, you should do them as much as you can early game. Unfortunately, he had no more ammo to sell to me. I got all the interesting missions I could find and spent 10k at the market trader for some ammo. It's painful, I know, but I didn't have much choice right now. It was getting dark and I wasn't feeling like fighting though, so I headed up to Yentar to Nobody? deliver my packages. I still had a ton of things to do in Cordon, but it was a bit too late, so I decided to go back to Rostock for the night. I gave back all my missions, got all my rewards. It's a good thing I decided to go back, this was a very dark night and being out in the zone right now would have been a nightmare, especially because I didn't have a flashlight yet. I waited to be sleepy, drinking at the campfire and I went to bed. Mm.